So we've been tasked this semester with studying the atmosphere, meteorology, the study of the atmosphere, um, whether that's day-to-day -day weather or here in the last few chapters, we're going to talk about long-term condition of the atmosphere we call climate. But it's hard to miss that the Earth's atmosphere tends to have some pollutants in it. Um, now, not all pollutants are man-made. These happen to be, looks, this to me looks like smog, and I'm going to kind of define smog here in a minute. Um, and honestly, this is over China, and we're going to see that sometimes the day-to-day -day weather conditions, like a temperature inversion, can kind of put a, a cap on um, the pollutants that's being generated by a large city like this, and they, they tend to kind of be socked in, and, and that pollution can't go anywhere. They're kind of stuck with it. But by definition, an air pollutant can either be a solid, liquid, or a gas hanging out in the, in the Earth's atmosphere, but it's something that adversely affects life, life as we know it anyway. And as you might imagine, um, Mother Nature has her fair share of um, pollutants, solids, liquids, or gases that are in the Earth's atmosphere that as we breathe them in is not good. But um, so those would be natural sources and also human activity has its fair share of putting um, pollutants into the atmosphere. If the pollutant comes from uh, human sources, we call those anthropogenic pollutants. Anthropogenic, coming from man. So to not just to give Mother Nature its due, and I have a list here of kind of different sort of natural pollutants, but um, smoke, just inhaling too much smoke obviously can kill you. And so these forest fires are an example of um, of putting pollution into the air. And um, actually, this was quite a Mother Nature thing. Lightning struck and started a forest fire. Okay, so we have uh, pollutants created by humans, and we have uh, pollutants created by Mother Nature. Remember, if they're created by humans, we call them anthropogenic. Anthropogenic sources. Okay, so here's some examples of things that we, uh, because of human activity, uh, put into the Earth's atmosphere that are adverse to life. Um, actually, these are sources of the pollutants. So one is burning fossil fuels, combustion process. One is just in general chemical processes. <laughs> the third one here is our, uh, we have uh, had nuclear reactions, whether that's for creating energy or for killing people. Um, just in general, we have in our factories, we have uh, processes that prepare, um, how do I say, our factories um, will put out uh, pollutants. Um, in general, as we mine and farm, we can go ahead and put in airborne things in the atmosphere that are harmful to life, either particulates, gases, or particulates being solid or liquid. So let's see what Mother Nature does. Um, volcanoes, when they go off, they tend to go ahead and spew gases and particulates. The oceans, I know it seems kind of odd, but actually they are a source of uh, putting uh, particulates in the atmosphere. If you're a if you're somebody who's allergic, and spring when springtime comes, you feel itchy um, when you breathe. That's because you're breathing in Mother Nature's things that are adverse to um, life. And kind of a few slides ago, uh, we saw a forest fire, you know, a natural source of um, putting both get carbon dioxide and uh, particulates in the air that are hum harmful to human life. Here, the next slide, I have a picture, actually, of um, the Dust Bowl of the 1930s. And so when Mother Nature, when the wind blows, it puts particulates in the air that can be harmful if we do a lot of breathing of them. Just in general, um, we have airborne bacteria and viruses. Those would be pollutants as well. Notice that the fire... Um, blowing dust around and airborne pollutants, or excuse me, airborne, airborne bacteria and viruses actually can be aggravated by humans, but they're in themselves can also be natural. So in the 1930s, 
And I think I read recently that it kind of hit real hard in 1935 and 1936, the 1930s, uh, we, uh, that North America experienced what we call the Dust Bowl. And this is showing you, this is, a, this is actually from the ground up. This is all just dust. Makes me want to cough just looking at it. It's very interesting, um, if you, the, the history behind it. So 